Hello everyone. Uh, today we have uh, been given a task to prepare five minutes presentation on development education using De Bono's uh, thinking hats with a focus on neutral thinking, that is use white hat method. Therefore, I choose to share the Education 2030 declaration, which was launched in 2015, five years back at World Education Forum. The vision set by the forum was to transform lives through education, recognizing the important role of education as a main driver of development and in achieving the other proposed sustainable development goals. Towards 2030, a new vision for education, inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong learning for all. Let me share brief uh, details about this forum it was held in republic of korea from 19 to 22nd of may 2015 unesco together with the unicef the world bank unfpa undp un women and unhcr organized the world education forum 2015 in which over 1600 participants from 160 countries including over 120 ministers, heads and members of delegations, heads of agencies, and officials of multilateral and bilateral organizations, representatives of civil society, the teaching profession, youth, and the private sector participated and launched the new vision for education for the next 15 years. In the next, I shared the key statements made by the heads of the Education Forum 2015. Irina Bukovo, Director General of UNESCO, Anthony Lake, Executive Director UNICEF, and Jim Yong Kim, President of the World Bank Group. The detailed statements are given in the slide. I just share the key points said by them, that education is key to a better life for every child, regardless of where they're born, their gender or their family incomes. Also, it is the key to global peace and sustainable development. And to achieve this goal, all need to work together to provide learning opportunities through life so that people can continue to grow and be on the right side of change. It was happened five years back when there was no sign of pandemic. In 2020, now this pandemic crisis has changed the educational landscape completely. It is tough to know exactly what the upcoming year will look like due to this pandemic due or crisis. It is expected to have even greater consequences than the last one. Economic activity has slowed down and it remains uncertain when it will resume and what the long-term effects will be. Therefore, in this scenario of this pandemic crisis, I try to find out the facts about the educational sector which are known. First one is the decrease in the GDP. In advanced economies, the gross domestic product is expected to decline by 8% in 2020. This information is provided by the International Monetary Fund's World Economic Outlook that reports even if we assume that education does not become a lower priority in total aid, the squeezed budgets could translate into a fall for aid to education of up to $2 million US dollars by 2020. It may be six years until 2018 levels are reached again. The second is wealth gap. The gap between the richest and poorest is widening with more intense pockets of extreme privilege and deprivation. This inequality ends up on the doorsteps of schools. And the third one is there is no starting points for hundreds of millions of the world's poorest children. These issues will be irrelevant for them because they do not even have access to school or they are in a schools of such low quality education that children leave without even the most basic literacy. COVID-19 is a serious threat to aid education recovery. The education sector will face an uphill task. It has widened the gaps in learning opportunities and will, and will push back 
progress towards reaching a uh, sustainable global uh, development goal coming to the fact which are still known still unknown sorry first how will such inequality be balanced to offer fair access to learning opportunities beside pandemic within the span of 15 years is it realistically achievable how they will ensure to provide the 12 years of free and equitable quality primary and secondary education to all children to give access to quality early childhood development care and education because there are hundreds of millions of children in under developing countries where they do not have a proper place for school and basic facilities coming to the second unknown information after all the pandemic crisis and cut in funds by donor countries how the funds will be arranged to cater the challenges of post covid-19 recovery last but not the least unknown information is when will the existing programs running under the supervision of world economic forum be restructured and realigned as the health crisis has intensified the effect of intersecting inequality on educational purpose opportunities coming to my nobel prize laureate kailash satyarathi said that we are accountable to each child not in a school every minute matters accomplishing all the sdgs begins now by ensuring inclusive equitable and quality education for all children we are going to make it happen i want to know that what strategy the forum will implement to achieve the said goal after all pandemic has pushed the progress back and worsened the situation that's it thank you